welcome to the webinar so uh, this is a webinar on our technical analysis series this is the part one of the webinar uh, and uh, today we will be discussing on bollinger bands so as you know uh, if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel you know that my name is indrajit mukherjee and uh, uh, i am a marketing partner of zerodha uh, i am the founder of stockmaniacs.net and uh, you can reach me in whatsapp at 9674321856 so uh, let us start the presentation uh, just once again we will be repeating it is technical analysis part 1 bollinger bands and uh, this is presented by indrajit mukherjee uh before we start on the topics just a quick guide uh you can visit my site stockmaniacs.net for more tutorials uh yes i do write about short term uh, short term trading strategies you can also subscribe to my youtube channel uh you can search about indrajit mukherjee in youtube and you can subscribe to the channel uh you can anytime uh you can reach me in whatsapp at 9674321856 uh do not forget to add the country co code plus 91 uh so we are coming to the topic uh the discussion is on bollinger bands the bollinger bands is basically uh, an indicator that is invented by john bollinger this is a very popular indicator for short term trading uh it basically measures overbought and oversold levels but there are other ways also to use the bollinger bands we will uh, see some examples later here uh, first thing bollinger bands basically have three parts you can see there is a upper band in the bollinger band you can see the price candles those are moving inside the bands there is a lower band and there is a simple moving average in between in between the upper band and the lower band so basically the simple moving average is a 20 period moving average so an upper band a lower band and a simple moving average upper band lower band and a simple moving average now the beauty of the bollinger band is that 90% of the price action whatever price action you are seeing that 90% of the price action actually happens within the band so it is a very rare case only 10% of times the price action happens outside the band so these kind of uh, extreme price actions uh, those are tradable actually uh, there are two ways to trade the bollinger bands you can either trade the price action inside the bands those for a non trending market and in case of extreme movements whenever in the race 10% of time whenever the price action moves beyond the band in that case those are tradable for trending market uh, before i go into more details in through the next slide we will be seeing a chart so uh this is a crude oil chart one hour chart crude oil one hour chart uh, the market uh, is open actually crude oil chart and uh, this is zerodha kite platform you can see the prices are blinking so the market is open uh, the current price is 3064 3063 Uh, we can add a bollinger band on this so just simply click on studies and go to bollinger bands so uh, default by default the bollinger band is 22 so period is 20 and standard deviation is 2 uh, some people actually uses bollinger band 14 instead of 20 so uh, i'll be fixing a 22 bollinger band so look how this uh, looks like this this is the upper band 
this is the lower band and this is the middle simple moving average upper band lower band and the simple moving average this is the bollinger band you can see how price action and uh, 90% times the price action is happening in, inside the band these are the extreme movements whenever the price actions are moving beyond the bands and these are the normal range bound markets price is moving to the upper band and moving to the lower band so now once again back to the slide show so basically uh, traders use bollinger band as a trend fading strategy bollinger bands are commonly used uh, to fade trends uh, what do you mean by fade trends that means uh, traders use bollinger bands to see whether the trend is ending or not so it works great in a flat market it is like a ping pong ball that the uh, price goes to the upper band bounces and goes back to the lower band bounces goes back to the upper band and like that once again i'll be going to the kite example price goes to the upper band bounces goes to the lower band bounces goes to the upper band and this is like a ping pong ball kind of structure some people actually finds it very easily tradable but the uh, fallacy is that this kind of strategy will not work in a trending market so there is a caution for you traders so this ping pong ball strategy will not work in trending markets so you should be cautious about using this strategy you can use bollinger bands as trend filters uh, bollinger bands actually make great trend filters this is how some people use bollinger bands it helps determine if the market is trending it also helps determine if the market is flat this is a very important information that you should keep in mind so bollinger band is a trend filter it determines whether the market is trending or the market is flat here the bollinger band settings you can do some minor adjustments bollinger bands as i already told that bollinger bands are available everywhere uh, i will prefer either zero the pi or zero the kite you can uh, change the bollinger band period from 20 period to 14 period here if you are it is written days if you are using daily charts one period means one day if you are using a hourly chart one period means one hour so uh, we can use bollinger bands either 20 or 14 i will be preferring 20 and the standard deviation of 2 we will leave it alone we will leave it as it is so now there is a bollinger band uptrend example you can see this is a uptrend in the bollinger band this is the upper band the price is moving up and it is moving up touching the upper band and the upper band is also sloping up so this is a uptrend example whenever the trend dies down the band actually flattens and the price pulls away from the upper band so this is a uptrend example we can see a real life example once again we are back to the zero the kite let us find the uptrend yeah this is the uptrend example you can find that the price is touching the upper band price is touching the upper band and moving up moving up price is never touching the lower band in case of a upper band price is never touching the lower band it generally max to max it is bouncing from the middle band so uh, the ping pong ball is moving upwards up touching the upper band bounce back from the middle band up middle band upper band and so on never touches the uh, lower band sometimes it touches the lower band also but from there it the uptrend once again continues so this is the last leg of the uptrend 
so this is a example of uptrend in real life in crude oil so this is the you can see the bollinger band is clearly sloping upwards now we will be seeing a downtrend example so now uh, there is a downtrend example the lower bands are sloping sharply in the downside the price is actually touching the lower band and moving down sometimes the price uh, touches the upper band in case of a pullback but after that the downtrend continues once again we will be seeing a real life example yeah this is a downtrend example first there was a congestion period congestion period can very well uh, be uh, you can guess this is a congestion period uh, whenever the band is very narrow so after a narrow band after a very uh, been sharp congestion period you can see a breakout or breakdown so this is a breakdown the downtrend starts so downtrend the band is sloping downwards the price is never touching the upper band once there is a pullback the price is touching the upper band but that is the uh, end of the upward bounce after that once again the price is uh, the downtrend continues the price is continuing its downtrend so this is how actually a downtrend example in real life in crude oil you can see still the market is open uh, we are actually in a uh, intermediate i i will be saying a intermediate uptrend or even a, a normal flat market so price is just touching the lower band and trying to bounce back so this is you can easily uh, judge what kind of market you are in uh, if the price is touching the lower band and uh, trying to bounce from there there is a high chance that the market can bounce back so now let's go back to the uh, slide show and there are bollinger band flat market example i have already shown you a flat market the price is contained basically inside the bands the price is never uh, going outside the bands and the bands are not sloping either so this is a flat market condition go to a real life this is a flat market condition the price is contained inside the band this is the flat market condition the congestion period can last for uh, if you are using a daily chart it can last for months if you are using an hourly chart it can last for days so this is a flat market example so how does bollinger band will help you you can use as a filter to confirm trending market you can use bollinger band as a filter to confirm flat market and you can avoid trades before confirming market conditions so this is uh, this should be a eye opener for new traders do not just jump and trade just try to understand what kind of market you are in try to use a filter to confirm a trending market try to use a filter to confirm a flat market and i feel bollinger band is a great filter to confirm both kind of markets so this is a short review of what we have learnt traditionally bollinger bands are used for trend reversals uh, does not work well in trending markets the ping pong ball strategy will not work in trending markets but definitely once you can see the price is moving along the uh, one one band either the upper band or lower band and the band is clearly sloping you can use a trend following strategy you can use bollinger bands as a trend filter and you can also successfully determine if the market is trending or flat so this is the usage of bollinger band so the final note thanks for watching uh, this short presentation this short video for more such tutorials you can visit our site stockmaniacs.net
you can also uh, keep a bookmark of the site in your browser in our site you can read some great trading strategies uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, you can search for indrajit mukherjee on youtube and you can subscribe uh, some last words as you know that uh, i am a marketing partner of zerodha and you can join in my team uh, you can just open a trading account in zerodha through me and you can join in my team uh, for joining you can just whatsapp me 9674321856 and some more specialized customized trading uh, training is waiting for you after you join my team so uh, i'll be thanking you for uh, watching this video just repeating you can open a trading account under me and join my team in zerodha to join in my team just ping me or whatsapp me at plus 9196743 21856 thanks a lot bye bye